Hi, my name is Kalise Vintage, and my project today is about the American dream within the minority society. The idea of the American dream was created by James Truslow Adams, revolving around the idea that everyone, despite gender, social class, race, or anything like that, shouldn't affect anyone being able to achieve a richer, fuller, and better lifestyle. During the time that James Truswell Adams created the American Dream, the Great Depression was going on in that era, and the economy of America was going down, so families were going into debt, and the wages for the employed were also going down. Even though James Truswell Adams created the American Dream for everyone, doesn't really mean that it benefited or was created in a way that the minorities would be able to achieve it as well. Alfred Horn Young created an article called The Un-American Dream, which revolves around the idea that anyone who has ever felt excluded from being able to achieve the American dream because of their race, gender, social class, or anything like that would fit into this category. Kari Max and Frederick Engels created the Marxist theory which fights against, well fights for self-emancipation in the working class. In this theory, he came up with the idea that since America runs on capitalism, that as long as it continues to run on capitalism, it will never really benefit anyone who's a part of the working class. And according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, in the month of March 2019, it was marked that 60.6% of Americans, which is a little half, a little bit over half of the percent of the nation's population, is a part of the working class. And that doesn't include the homeless or the unemployed. Within a paper conducted by Hansen and Zogby, where they researched people's attitudes towards the American dream, they discovered that 42% of older people are more likely to feel as though they can achieve or have achieved the American dream compared to someone who's of a younger age. As time begins to go on, people's idea about the American dream changes and shifts as society advances and society develops. Which leads me to look into the idea of, well, the research gap of whether minorities believe in the American dream and like why they don't believe in the American dream. So I did a methodology and the participants in my methodology were from Massachusetts. However, they live in different cities and different parts of Massachusetts and they're different ages and different ethnicities. So they come from all different types of backgrounds. The motive behind my research was given because most of the time people believe that minorities aren't able to achieve the American dream due to financial things. However, I believe that it's more because of the mentality that they hold towards the American dream. And the question that my survey includes is um, if, like, what is their ethnicity and do they believe in the American dream as a whole? Um, and if they didn't believe in the American dream, why? Um, I also researched, well, I also asked them if, um, what's their personal perspective on the American dream? What is their definition of success and questions? So the first question, I saw that 8.33% of the people within my research were Asian American, 50% of the participants were black or African American, and 20.83% were Hispanic, and 4.17% were white and Caucasian, and then 16.67% of my participants were from multiple ethnicities. And then within my next question of do people believe in the American dream or not? It was discovered that 20.3% of the participants within my research, which is only five of the 24, believe in the American dream. And then 79.17% of the participants within my research do not believe in the American dream. The people who do not believe in the American dream, which is 19 out of the 24, is because they don't believe that it was designed for minorities to be able to excel and achieve in society, and only the privileged would be able to achieve this goal. And then the people who believe 
or said that the American dream was real. They believe that it's real, however, they believe that it's harder for minorities. And then my next question is, if you believe in the American dream, what is your perspective? And 4.7% believe that the American dream is fair for everyone. And then 50%, 12 out of the 24, believe that the American dream is not fair and that minorities face more adversities. And then 45.83 out of the 11 participants believe that it's equal opportunity, however, it's harder for minorities to achieve. The goals that I had within this paper were to look beyond the typical idea of that only minorities, that minorities aren't able to achieve the American dream because of financial adversities, but due to the mentality that they hold towards being able to achieve in America. And another goal that I had was to gain knowledge on the perspectives that people have about the American dream and why. And then the limitations that I came up with is that it's harder for me to research this because the American dream, there's many different parts of the American dream, so I feel like it was broad to just look up the, benefit, the definition as a whole, and then researching it, the American dream itself is just too broad. And then the conclusion that I came up with is that some minorities believe that it is possible to achieve the, the American dream. However, it's harder compared to the minorities who don't believe in the American dream at all and think that the perfect utopia is not something that people will achieve and believe that is. It is a false reality in today's society. Okay. Thank you. So your first question, how is the method that you chose aligned with the purpose of your research? Well, since the purpose of my research was to find more about people's perspective towards the American dream. Doing a survey was easier because not only were they able to like pick which answer was best suitable for them, they were able to explain. So I was able to really dig deeper into the ideas that they had of why or why, why, why not they believe that this is something that they would be successful at or why not. Just being able to dig deeper into the mindset that people had was better since I was able to make graphs, and not only make graphs, but summarize their ideas as a whole. Are there any methods that you like consider them later projected? Um, no, I think I used everything that I can consider. Uh, second question, what was the fundamental argument slash idea in your research, and how does this argument slash idea relate to the primary purpose of your research? My fundamental argument is that most of the time, I feel like people don't really think outside the box to as of why, not even just minorities, but people as a whole don't believe in certain things. And in this case, the American dream is more of like something that like you have to work for and like, you know, it's like financially it's a better life and you know, you have more. And sometimes when people dig within like something, they kind of, well, they don't dig within something. So they kind of just look at the, the, like what's already there. So if it's revolving around like money, they just think like, oh, it's a money issue. So I just wanted to go more into people's thoughts. And last question, which of your sources was the most influential and in what way is that most apparent in the final conclusion? I think the source that was most influential is the um, Marxian theory because I think it pertains to everyone because not only are minorities aren't the only people in society who are poor, every race, there's poor people within every society. So their idea was to fight for everybody who felt as though there was injustices when it came to like working and like, you know, social class and stuff like that. So I think that was the most influential because it challenges the idea of like, how can there be an American dream if this world is basically just revolving around money and the only way to have power is to have money and you can't really do that if you're in the working class, like with low wages, you can't really have a lot of power. All right, thank you very much.